So since you were last with me, the January transfer window is just closed. And I may have spent 300 million on a couple of goalkeepers. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Welcome to Around the World in 80 Clubs. So, we've managed to sign a few players. First of all, we have Facundo Monterio, who is a 21-year-old Argentinian striker. He's two-star current ability, three-star potential ability. I think he's good as a backup already. I don't see why he's so low star rating i'm not convinced by that but anyway we've got him next we signed a good friend malcolm he did cost 175 million he's four star current ability four star potential ability 23 year old striker um the perfect replacement for harland i think we would spent big on him but I think he's worth it as a young English striker. Um, I'm happy to spend that. Next, we dropped £104 million on Gankaya, who's an inverted full-back, wing-back, slash central defender. He's 5'11", um, Four and a half star current ability, four and a half star potential ability, 22 year old German, already worth 132 million. We got him from Dortmund, where he spent his whole career. More than happy with that buy. We then dropped 24 million on Dirk Weber, who is a two star current ability, five star potential ability left back. Um, he's in the under 21s at the moment. I'm, I was re, I wanted to rebuild the youth team as I let a lot of the youth team go because they weren't up to scratch. So that was just a pushing through, um, it's a bit of a gamble. I think we could easily get 30, 40 million for him if we went to sell him. Next, we have an 18-year-old, two-star current ability, five-star potential ability, attacking midfielder. Um, he's got great first touch, great flair, uh, can also play out on the left. He is one for the future. Spanish, 18-year-old, came from Atletico Madrid. Bargain and a half. He's already worth nearly 50 million absolutely fantastic purchase then in comes the first of our goalkeepers 175 million pounds for 23 year old uruguayan goalkeeper four star current ability four and a half star potential ability he's just all round an incredibly good goalkeeper we bought him from milan more than happy with him we then drop 10 million on Gustavesson, who is a two star current ability, three and a half star potential ability, left sort of inside forward winger. Um, very good for the level. We've uh, loaned him straight back out to this club that he was already at um, to try and get a bit more game time. 18 to 23 million pounds we pined him for 10 i don't know if he'll make it but for 10 million it was worth the gamble next we got our second keeper 25 year old danish keeper three and a half star current ability four and a half star potential ability 
incredible at one-on-ones reflexes good agility and jumping reach six foot three we brought him in from inter milan um and the best thing about it is he's agreed to be a cup goalkeeper so um as a backup i don't think you could get any better really and he probably really will play i've probably overspent probably didn't need to buy two keepers um but we did next we have selam on me salami is a two-star current ability four-star potential ability right winger um again we got him for uh 10 million he's worth 30 to 40 million um well worth it for the price we paid we also spent another 10 million on melikovic who's another left back uh more attacking left back uh he's 18 year old portuguese valued between 30 and 45 million one and a half star current ability four and a half star potential ability from sporting um absolutely brilliant player for his age he looks like he could be could potentially be something special um and well worth the money we then we were a little bit short in central midfield so i managed to get conor gallagher in for two and a half star current ability two and a half star potential ability he's 34 he's on loan till the end of the season his contract with brighton is up at the end of the season so there's potential to bring him in permanently but i'd like to hope we can probably do better um than now we could probably do better in the future so with all that being said for today's game against middlesbrough which isn't up yet for today's game in the premier league against middlesbrough we have silver and goal Kanyanya at left back, Karud and Yo in the centre, and Vergas at right back, Bellingham and Elliott in central midfield, with Pino, Asprilla, and Naipan behind Malcolm up top, Erling Haaland still injured, Gavi's picked up a knock, Nico, Brockhoff, and Gradiol have all picked up knocks, so unfortunately um they're all unable to play now could next season probably will be a bit of a transition um will we keep harland as somebody that's never really got to this level before where I'm here and Haaland's still available or Haaland's still a top player. I would just like to keep him for a season. But I also have a feeling he may retire because obviously with the injuries and stuff, he may decide to retire. I don't know. But here's Malcolm to Napan. Oh, Napan with a cheeky one with the outside of the foot. And it goes just over the crossbar. It's Erkan to Bellingham. Elliot back out to Erkan. Yemi. Bellingham ooh, again just scrapes the top corner of their goal. So now Middlesbrough are on the attack. Watch them score. No, they haven't. Good. Um, oof, nearly spoke too soon. But yes, yeah, so with the keepers, I've probably made a mistake there, but it was something that needed to be fixed. So I was scouting keepers. Two came up. I was only in which one to bid for. 
ended up bidding for them both. And then um, getting them both. And uh, Killerich uh, said that he didn't mind being a cup goalkeeper. So I thought, you know what? I can probably manage them both. Um, you know, if they both want to play even, I could probably just about manage that. So it was worth doing. Uh, when you get goalkeepers in this game that are willing to travel to you, snap them up as quickly as possible, especially if they're only in their 20s. Because a good goalkeepers are hard to find. And Jeremy just slots the ball through to the back post and in for our first goal of the game. Elliot plays it to Bellingham. He just switches it around to Jeremy. And Jeremy just slots it past as easy as you like. Their keeper didn't even move. So now we are within touching this. Here's Evans. Tries to play it towards the back pace, but Keller gathers. So with this team, we could really do a lot. I mean, the amount of wages I managed to save already by getting rid of some of these youngsters, some of the youngsters they had in line, was a lot. And they can buy like four or five good players for the amount that, I saved, which is what I've done. It's incredible how much money some teams like these Chelsea are the same. They just they sign every single youngster that comes through their like their search or their academy. They sign them all, and only half of them are good enough. What's happened here? Penalty room. What? There was nothing. No. Did not see anything wrong with that at all. I'm confused by that one. We are going to make some changes though. Uh, Cassetti's coming on for Aspria. Is he there? there? No, we'll play him there. Um, Napan's coming on for Lo Sorry, Napan's coming off for Lofty. Karuda. Uh, we're gonna bring Bishop on. And then push Bishop out wide. Have we got anyone? Hull can come on at right back as well. We've got attacking. Uh, we're going to bring... Vassan on up front for the final 10 minutes. But I don't know where they got that penalty from. But here's Yemi to Bellingham. Back to Yemi. Jeremy plays it out. Elliot picks up the ball. Plays it back to Bishop. Bishop. Tries to get it in. It's gone to Elliot who puts the ball in the back of the net to make it 2-1 and justice as far as I'm concerned because that was never a penalty. That's so justice has prevailed. Bishop now plays it to Yarrow. Silver. 
Erkan, Elliot, Castle, Bellingham. Plays it through to Castle. Almost slots it home. Oh, Elliot, Yazim, Elliot, Castle, Elliot, Erkan, Euro, Elliot to Castle, Bellingham now. Some beautiful pass in there. And Jeremy Pinio puts the ball in the back of the net to make it 3 1. And we are happy, happy days in our first game today. Wowzers. So we are pushing like up the table. Here's Castell. Plays it to Loffy. Back to Castell. Can Castell find the ball across? He can't. He turns back, plays it to Lofty. Bellingham on is running in there, and Bellingham is brought down. He was pulled back. VAR is asking to clarify, and it's penalty, and that was more of a penalty than the other one. He was clearly pulled back. And Bellingham misses the penalty, though. Well, he doesn't miss it. The keeper makes a great save. Let's be realistic. Ball's played towards the back post. Castell picks it up, plays it to Elliot. And the final whistle's gone. And it's Middlesbrough 1, Man City 3. I feel kind of cheaty being Man City. I'm not going to lie, but, you know, when you're offered £100,000 a week more than uh, before, you have to kind of take it, don't you? So we will look for a house um, probably at the end of the season. Um, but I will join you in the next game against Newcastle. I'll see you in a second. So, for today's game against Newcastle, we are unchanged from the last game. I'm trying to get a bit of stability into this team so I can see where we're really lacking. Um, I know I've already set up a scout in focus for a central midfielder. Um, I know where potentially I could grab one or two is obviously Villa, but I don't want to destroy Villa. I, I enjoyed our time there. Jude Bellingham's just pushed one from the edge of the area beautifully to make it Man City 1, Newcastle nil. Falls out to Erkan, who just slots the ball down the wing to Jeremy, plays it into Bellingham, and Bellingham just straight away turns positions himself and shoots wow that is so good at the football um yeah I'd, I'd rather not just go out and steal players from our former club um we've got malcolm yes but that was a necessity really we needed a striker um, and they've remember we did sign four or five for them, so it's not like they're going to be short. How come headers just wide? They're not going to be short of a striker at Villa, so you know, there's nothing too bad to worry about there. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd rather not just keep stealing players that we've had before. And Newcastle, João Pedro has put the ball in the back of the net to make it Manchester City 1, Newcastle 1. You know, Villa are a good team. We want to keep those players kind of at Villa, I suppose, to see... Where we could have been, you know, in a year, two years' time, 
however long it will be. I do feel that we are the best team out there at the moment. Um, but since my signings, I feel that we could have the best team, but you don't know, do you? This isn't the Manchester... Well, it's not quite the same Manchester City as before. Um, but we will aim to make it that Manchester City. We're getting over half a million... Half a... Sorry. We're getting around half a billion transfer, like, minimum next season, it's saying already. So... Here's Erkan. Plays it to Jeremy. Jeremy! Ooh. Just wide. Gary. To Haraldson. Just puts it wide as well. Erkan now with a throw it up high. Plays it over. Goes back to Erkan, to Bellingham. Bellingham finds Vegas to a Asprilla. Asprilla, Bellingham, all oh, off the post. Comes off the back of the keeper and Malcolm slots it home. Yes. That's 2-1. I was going to say, why is it asking? Comes off the back of the keeper. And Malcolm's first to react and puts the ball in the back of the net. We're two points now behind that magical European spot. Obviously, we're still in the Champions League as well. So it would be good to finish in the top. Four is unlikely. Top five is possible. Don't think we'll finish in the top four, though. I think that ship sailed before I even joined the club. So we're going to stop on 70 minutes, make some changes here. Vegas is coming off for Hull. Kruder is coming off for Gabriel. Why not? Uh, Jude's going to come off for Gallagher. Espria for Castanoli. Castel. Castanoli. Pino's off for Bishop. So he made some big changes there. Strengthening the squad. Or freshening up the squad, should I say. Strengthening the team would be a bit of an under like a bit of a lie basically but we do like to give these fringe players a go and here's castle castle nearly repaid us there but the shot goes just wide oh don't you dare napan straight in to elliot hull gallagher to Malcolm, Malcolm plays it out to Erkan. Bishop, was he fouled there? Mm. But now they're coming on the counter attack with Reggie. But Hull intercepts. Elliot plays it over the top to Castell. Castell back to Elliot. Elliot loses out, but Hull regains. Hull plays it out to Erkan. Erkan to Bishop. Bishop slots it through to Malcolm, whose shot comes off the post, but he was offside. And now here come Newcastle on the on the attack. We really need to hold on here. Euro, Napan, Napan's Castle, Castle now. Can he find a ball across? He can't. He find went tried to find Elliot, and Elliot's been tackled. 
Resume again. Urkan intercepts. Pedro's just over. Whew, I thought it's looking dangerous. End to end stuff here's Castel. Plays it in, and it's a good save by Restes. In goal for Newcastle. What's he going to do with the ball? He goes long. Yaro into headers clear though, and it's Bishop now on the ball to Castle. Castle plays it through to Malcolm. Shot comes off the keeper and out for a corner. Elliot now. Just throw some time wasted on so that we waste as much time in this corner as possible. It goes in and it's all over and it's Manchester City 2, Newcastle 1 and that was a massive result for us. Massive. So... With that being said, let's just have a little look at the schedule. There's two games to come back for. Everton and Manchester United or Manuel Bournemouth. We'll decide whether... I think we'll come back for Everton and Manu and then the final game of the season and discuss what we need to do in the transfer window after that. So... I will see you for the Everton game in the next episode. But thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment down below telling me which of the players I've signed you think will be the most influential for the rest of the season. I've been the Mars Manager. And until next time, I have spoken.